What's up, everybody? You know what time it is. It's a little bit after 12 o'clock. It's time for the most exhilarating, electrifying watch daytime cooking show out there right now with my good friend, the guru of grilling, the father of flavor, the sultan of smoke, my friend, you know him, Chef Greg Mueller. What's up, everybody? How are you doing today? Appreciate you joining in for Lunch Break presented by RecTech. I'm Chef Greg, your Director of Culinary Innovation. And on the ones and twos, he already gave me a killer introduction. And Ben Lowe made some crazy cool introduction that I have yet to see. i got to go back and watch it's the really beginning. It's really good, Chef Greg. It's good. I appreciate it that. But you got Chef John on the ones and twos. What's up, everybody? Make sure you guys, as we kind of go through this lunch break, you know, it is Tuesday. We're kind of starting the week off. It's kind of weird. It feels like a Monday, but it's Tuesday. I've made that mistake a couple times. I asked John today if we were doing Mail Day Monday today. He was like, hey, <laughs> Chef, it's Tuesday. I'm like, you're right. So I hope you guys had a fantastic Labor Day weekend. I saw some fantastic pictures of Rectex of all sizes cooking some dynamite food. But for me, I think I'm going to just go with the uh, the Red Bull coconut today because, mm. I don't know, i got to give my liver a little bit of a break. Yeah, what did you do for and Labor we, Day? We, we hit the lake hard this weekend. Okay. We did we it up camp, like... We, were you out there swimming, kayaking, canoeing, fishing? Dude, we were supping. We went out to Modoc. Uh, we had a beautiful site. I mean, great water access. Uh, we got nice. one of our uh, friends has one of those big, like, uh, inflatable island kind of things. Mm. So being the good swimmer I am, I swam a cinder block out kind of far. Yes. Tied a rope to it, dropped it. Our little island kind of floated out there. It was amazing. Um, got a little bit of a sun, tan burn maybe thing going <laughs> on. Uh, the Buddha is a little bit a little bit red but i will refrain from that but today we're going to bring you something from the sea we're going to do a delicious smoked seafood linguine so if you guys love shrimp scampi if you guys love linguine with clam sauce you're going to want to watch this video go ahead and do me a favor go ahead and share this video to all your friends out there who love some delicious seafood pasta because i know chef john and me we get down on some seafood yes i love the seafood i'm a fr i'm a friend of the sea so I picked up uh, some delicious bay scallops this morning, and these are those smaller scallops, okay? They were on sale. That bag only cost me $7.99. Oh, that's nice. Um, I run them under some cool running water to thaw them, drain them well, and then whenever I store my seafood, especially if it's been frozen, I always put it in a bowl with a paper towel. That way any excess uh, moisture will kind of go on the paper towel, and when I'm cooking with it, I don't add a whole bunch of stuff you know, liquid or whatever that I don't want to add uh, to my seafood. Chef John, you, you do that too? Yeah, definitely. That's a great tip, Chef Greg. Hey, Chef Greg, tell them what is the difference between like a bay scallop and a regular scallop? All right, so a bay scallop is going to be a lot smaller, a little bit more firm, whereas your sea scallop will probably be about four times that large. Got a little bit more of a creamy texture to them, but uh, bay scallops like this are fantastic in seafood dishes. Um, that are going to be sautéed with other things. Whereas, in my opinion, the uh, sea scallops, its larger counterpart, is great for searing, grilling. That way you get that nice medium rear texture in the middle. It's mm -hmm. delicious. But we're going to go ahead and do something different. That's, I told you it's going to be smoked seafood. So we've got that Boar's Night Out double garlic butter. Dude, that okay? stuff is delicious. Dude, it's like crack. Like, But I'm going to go ahead and hit these scallops with a little bit of that double butter garlic and I'm just gonna give a little a little judge all right and we got the Rectech RT 590 preheated to 225 come on Sherps and I'm just gonna go ahead and put these scallops on here and we're gonna get a little bit of smoke flavor on these okay and I'm just gonna let those go for like I don't know until I need them how about that Chef so, Greg, yeah, buddy. Do you have to trim bay scallops the same way you do sea scallops? No, you're good. Uh, that little uh, uh, piece of muscle that holds the uh, scallop into the shell, just let it ride. You're not gonna, you're not gonna need it. It's okay. We've got uh, two pounds of delicious um, African pink shrimp. Or, I'm sorry, this is Argentinian pink shrimp. We did those African tiger prawns mm. recently. Those are on my uh, on my brain. Yeah, We've got some delicious, delicious uh, pink shrimp here. They've not been cooked much milder texture than shrimp, a lot softer. 
So that's going to go in that seafood pasta as well. And then we've got four cans of chopped clams in juice. Okay? Again, not anything crazy fancy. When you go to the grocery store, you know, it's kind of at the top. I like the, uh, the chopped clams. I keep a couple in the pantry if I want to make linguine with clam sauce. And, hey, that's how I want to live my Rectech lifestyle. We got some parsley, some basil. Now, it's not common, okay? And, John, I know you, you, you did a stint at an Italian restaurant a time or two. Yes, I have. You don't normally put cheese with seafood. No. Okay? But I'm going to put cheese with seafood. Why? Okay. Because, like, it's delicious. But, John, when you cook pasta. Yes, sir. I got to know. Tell are me. you an oil-in-the-water kind of guy? Yes. I definitely, definitely oh, put okay. oil in my water. All right. Well, we're going to have to agree to disagree on that because I am not an oil-in-the-water kind really? of guy. Really? You don't put the oil in the water? What does it do? I, it just kind of floats on the top. It does kind of float on the top, but I know that when you bring that water to a boil, it agitates, and it's going to get some oil on that pasta. I dig it. Actually, we've got Stevie Fredericks not wasting food costs. Not putting oil in there. But you know what I do put in my water? <laughs> Tell me. A ton of salt. Yes, definitely. But it's not just salt. any salt. Because this is going to be a smoked seafood linguine. Okay. It's smoked. So we're going to impart that flavor into the water. Now, Chef, you might be asking, how am I going to impart a smoked flavor into a noodle? I'm going to boil. Show him, Chef Greg. Go to that guy. Come on. <laughs> oh, wrong one. I lied. Over here. I moved everything around a little bit ago. We've got that delicious smoked salt. I'm telling you, just Ooh. grab a big box of kosher salt, put it in the grill, okay? And you can see the color on that. It's got a good smoky, mm. smoky color to it. It does. And when I when I make pasta, like that's what I'm talking about. You like salt, it like salt the bay? sea? You ain't got nothing like that. If it doesn't taste like the ocean in the Jersey Shore, you done did something wrong, okay? Smoke salt. Put your grill on low, put it on a sheet pan, give it a stir every now and then. Let it run for a couple hours. Let it run all day. Maybe let it run while you're smoking something else because you're still going to get great flavor in that salt whether you're cooking at 200 to 225. Okay, but we got the Kingsford hickory pellets burning in that RT700 right there. Smoke salt, we put it on uh, first thing in the morning. I got here bright and early, stuck it on there for a couple hours. Chef John, what you got for him, buddy? All right, uh, time and temp on both the salt and the scallops. All right, the scallops, I'm going to go maybe 30 minutes. There's really not – I need to go much longer than that because they're really small. Now, I'm not smoking them to cook them per se. I'm just smoking them to give them some flavor into my pasta. So, you know, 20 minutes ago, 20 minutes, you're fine. Now, the salt, forget about it. Just put it in there, go about your life, and just – the longer it's in there, the better it's going to be, okay? But just, just leave it alone. We've got some good Chardonnay. No, not doing that. It's mo it's Tuesday. Can't do that. <laughs> All right, so let's start to uh, to build this, and it's gonna be pretty quick. So, Chef John, any questions before we get rolling? Uh, they're just loving it now that you give them the time and the temp. They said the salt is awesome. Uh, Courtney says she's feeling salty. That salt is key. Okay, I'm telling you, it's key. But I'm gonna go ahead and light this RT G450 Matador. Okay, this features that dual burner. Okay. Now, we're going to be cooking this. Now, we're making a lot of pasta because Chef John and I are here. We love some That's seafood right. pasta. Ray so Cohen's I gotta, is in the house, too. Ray Ray's in the house. We've got right. a pound for John, pound for myself, and then we'll give, obviously, co-founder Ray Carnes <laughs> some of this delicious. But I'm going to let that get warm for just a second. Now, I like my seafood pastas with a little bit of heat to them. So I've got a little of red pepper flake here that I'm going to go ahead and add into this. But you know what? I don't think the smoked salt is enough to really make this mm -mm. next level. I don't think those smoked scallops are going to be enough to make this next level. So you know what else we got? We got some delicious smoked garlic. What? Been going right along with that our looks salt. That awesome. Okay. And all we're doing is just give that smoked garlic a big old squeeze in there. And that's really going to... I wish you could smell this right now. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean... I can smell it all the way over here. It smells delicious. I think we really need to like brand like some Rectech flavored like chapsticks, toothpaste, and deodorant. I think this is a market we haven't tapped yet because you could take this garlic and kind of just do one of these. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. yeah, 
That'll bring the women a running right there. I'd, I'd kiss on you with that. <laughs> All right, so I've got a little bit of olive oil here. And we're going to go ahead and get this party started because this is pretty quick, okay? I'm going to fry up a little bit of those delicious pepper flakes. I'm going to grab that garlic. Ready? I don't think one's enough. No, definitely not, chef. Is two enough? Uh, maybe. You're getting more than you're getting better with two. Maybe three? I think three. I think three's yeah, the number, yeah. John. So, chef, on that uh, garlic, the time and the temp, how long did that take? Uh, we went uh, 225 for about a couple hours. Okay. So we're going to add the shrimp in here. Man, it smells so good out here already. I, you know it. We're going to add a little of that Colden's freaking Greek. A little Ooh. bit of that delicious Ben's heifer dust. And then some of that Boar's Night Out double garlic butter. Yep. Man, oh man. All that right, let's go ahead and get delicious. this. While those are sautéing, this is only going to take a little bit. Sure, but let's get this uh, this pasta in here, okay? Because this is going to take about seven minutes. So, boom, one in the hatch. And when you're buying pasta, do me a favor. Get the Muller variety. It tastes better. Okay? <laughs> Not related, but if I can, uh, you know, get a check or some free stuff. Yeah, I told I, heard I that. mean, just hook it up, okay? The Muller brand. That's I've had great. that name for 37 years. At least they can, you know, give me something. That's great. All right, so we're just going to kind of let that do its thing right there. Chef John, any good questions or comments yes, coming yes, in? Yes, sir. Uh, Tyler Mitchell asks, can you do this on the Bullseye Grill or will it get too hot? You can absolutely do this on the RT uh, B380 Bullseye. It'd be delicious. It'd be amazing. All right, so let me grab a little bit of Chardonnay. So when the shrimp are almost done, we got to deglaze this a little bit. Because you see how we're getting a little bit of that sort of stickage on the side? Yes. That's called fond. That's French for flavor. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and add Ooh. about a half a bottle of wine. Okay. Measured perfectly. Okay. I'm going to save the other half for uh, Chef John and myself. We'll, yes. uh, we'll reenact a movie scene later. I'm yes. just kidding. I mean, Lady and Tramp's a great movie. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's it right there. It's coming together. We're going to cook that down, okay, until it reduces by about half. Now, you can see we added that wine. It's already back up to a simmer, okay? And this is a great way you can cook outside, not stink up the house, and cook for enough people because doing this on the stove, I doubt you have a 22-inch cooking uh, saute pan at your house. I doubt right. it. Chef John, what you got? I got two questions for you. First one comes from Tommy. He asked, where did you find garlic that size? And then the second question comes from Chris. He wants to know, if you smoke a boatload of garlic, can you then vacuum seal it and freeze it and use it for later? Absolutely. Um, Sherp is getting really good at operating the vac master. Okay? <laughs> so this next, what we don't use, he's just going to squeeze it out, put it in a bag, and vacuum seal it. Um, I'd probably mix a little bit of butter, too. Make some smoked garlic butter. Um, good Lord, this is already starting to smell amazing. Um, you can add that smoked garlic into anything. It'll keep just fine. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, I would probably put it in those silicon ice cube trays. Ooh, and that way you can pop tip. it out and have like a nice cube of garlic. That's a good um, tip. Yeah. So we got some nice Italian flat leaf parsley. And we're Did just going to... Did you gonna get that out of the Rectech garden? You see how green and... Okay. You see how big these parsley leaves are? Yes. That's how we grow it here at Rectech right. garden. Okay, Chef John is out there That's right. making some delicious Dr. greenery. Green Thumb. Pa paging Dr. Green Thumb. I mean, it's a uh, organic, no delicious. pesticide garden. That's right. I was out there killing um, what are caterpillars by hand because they were tearing up my tomato plants, man. Hey, time and temp on a caterpillar. Time and temp. Hey, quick. 400, 420 degrees for two minutes. Hot and fast, baby. I love it. I love it. All right, I'm going to do a nice coarse chop on that parsley. And again, we're going to look at that wine reducing. Okay, it is looking really good. And I like my sauce to be pretty herby. 
Yes, you definitely. Know. I know John is a uh, connoisseur of fresh herbs. Fresh herbs, love them. Can't get enough of them. All right, so I like kind of coarse herbage in my uh, in my pasta dishes. Okay, I want to be able to see what I'm eating. All right, that's looking pretty right, tasty right there. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our clams and juice. Yes. And I'm gonna keep letting that reduce. Okay, I'm not gonna add the herbs in just yet because I don't want um, them to turn black, and I want, especially with fresh herbs. Here's a really good chef tip for you. When using fresh herbs, especially like we're doing here with the sauce, you want to add it in at the very end. And that way the herbs will maintain all of their integrity and impart the most flavor. Now, if you were using a dried herb, you'd want to give a chance for that to kind of rehydrate. So just like we added those pepper flakes and got those essential oils going, do the same thing with the dried herbs. But we got fresh ones here because that garden is like, I don't know, a quarter mile right over there. It's good. That's right. John, what you got? Uh, our good friend Dave Pruitt, top fan, asks, uh, what do you have the Matador set on, flame-wise? Uh, Matador, I am wide open on both. Um, I don't know how hot it is because it's wide open, but it's hot enough that this will get back up to a simmer here in just a second. Um, and again, we probably have about a you know, quart of, of liquid in there. One thing with the Matador when you're cooking, make sure your food is, is room temp. You know, if you put, like, ice-cold liquid in there, it's going to have to, you know, get warm. So, you know... Make everything uh, room temp. All right, so now we've got some basil and parsley. Okay, I'm at. It is smelling so good back here, so John. So good. So good. So good. I can even every time I open this pot, stir. <laughs> you can ha you can smell the salt yeah, coming out of there. I love it. Like, this would make Veronica proud. <laughs> it like, totally would. You know, the only thing that would make me more excited. Is if we had some fresh mussels Ooh. and fresh clams, oh, now you're maybe a little calamar now to put talking. in there too. Um, and one thing you can also look at doing, this also comes with a stainless steel lid. Yeah, so maybe boy. you're in a very cold weather or um, you know, your environment is very windy. Go ahead and put that lid on there, okay? It'll come up to, uh, to temp a lot faster and be good to go. John, what you got, buddy? Uh, our good friend Tom Quinn asked, What's up, how, Tom Quinn? How did the comp go this weekend? So, again, I was at the lake enjoying myself. Uh, Chef John and Jody killed it on Sunday at Banjo BQ. They ended up walking away with seventh place brisket. It's yeah, a pretty stacked field over there. Yeah, it was like um, 60 plus teams. Dude, it was insane. It was it was a big payday. 40k on the line on yep. Sunday. Yep. Uh, so they they walked home with a seventh place finish in brisket. 15th place overall. And I think that's super awesome because here's the thing: we cook day in day out. Do we cook competition food day in, day out? No. no. But we can, like, knock the, the, the dust off. Yeah. Okay? And we can come in, guns a blazing, walk away with a 15th place overall finish against teams that do this for a living, day in, day out. Like, really good so teams out really there. Really good teams. I yeah. mean, Johnny Trigg. Okay? That's right. You want to see a really good recipe for, uh, for ribs? Go ahead and uh, jump onto YouTube and check out Rectech's video for uh, Johnny Trigg-style ribs. They beat him. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. They beat him. They beat Johnny Trigg. We like did. Like the myth, the man, the legend. He went home, not in 15th place. No, he did not. Okay? He might have put his tail between his legs and went home, but you know what? They killed it. I wasn't even there. I'm texting them. I'm sitting in the raft drinking some cold beer. Chef John and Jody crushed it this weekend. We had a great um, time doing it, But too. congratulations to everybody that was in town here in Evans uh, to compete at that event. Uh, we love going to Banjo BQ and cleaning house. We have a pretty good track record with, uh, with Banjo BQ. Yeah. Pretty good track record. Yeah, we do. We do pretty well there. We do yeah, we had well. second place in pork the That's two right. years ago. That's right. Um, we didn't get any calls last year. That was rigged. But you know what? <laughs> As Jody would say, they went hard this year. Yeah, that's right. And you know what? We're going to go hard again in 2021, too. So we're excited about that. All right. So I wasn't paying attention here. We had a little bit of a, a boilage over. Not a big deal. All right. So I'm going to test my noodles here because the noodles got to be al dente. Okay? And what do I mean when I say al dente? It means to the tooth. So when you break it in half... You can kind of hard to see. You see how it's a little bit of that starch in there is not quite cooked? Oh, man. Smoked pasta. Mullers, give us a call. We'll do some videos together. Okay? Chef Greg, so is there any stock to the theory that you throw the pasta on the wall to test if it, if it sticks? Yeah, that works. Does that work? It works. Hold Why on. does that work exactly? Because the starch on the outside gets sticky. There we go, right there. <laughs> Stuck to the wall. One more thing for Sherp to clean up. Um, so when the starch sticks like that, it's kind of come out of the pasta. And, um, yeah, all right, I'm going to drain this. 
because I've got a pot down here. So, Sherb, get him a, a close-up of this real quick while I... Look at that. Ooh, man. Looking good, smelling oh, good. Chow, please. I'm going to go ahead and drain this three pounds of noodleage here. Chef Greg, if people want to know about new products coming out, new swag, uh, new releases on, sto on, on stocked up products, where do they need to go? What do they need to do? Man, you got to go to rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com. Put your email address in there and uh, make sure you guys sign up for the newsletter. You can also follow us on all social media because you never know when we're going to go live. It's true. Okay, so I got our noodleage here and I'm going to go ahead and add those scallops. And look, you can see they've already got a nice brown sort of smokage Ooh, to them. Ooh, they do. They look Boom, great. Boom, in the pool. Just like that. So we're going to give this just a second to incorporate. Now is when I'm going to add all my herbage. My parsley. My basil. John, you rocked that basil in that garden. Oh, thanks, man. It is doing pretty well out there. Dude, it's growing good. Yeah, that pesto you made the other day for that pesto chicken, though? Come oh, on, man. man. Oh, man. All right, so now I'm going to grab some delicious herb butter, okay? Put a couple knobs of herb butter in there and let that melt. That is what I'm talking about right there. That's going to be delicious. John, what you got, buddy? Okay, uh, our good friend Lee Woods says, Chef Greg, I know you're doing seafood today, but what are your thoughts on a spatchcocky to turkey or doing a turkey on the rotisserie? Absolutely. We can definitely do that. We love spatchcocking. Uh, birds and things, turkeys, chickens, pheasants, game hens. All right, so we're going to let that go. Now I'm going to add my pasta in here, okay? Now my pasta wasn't all the way cooked because what's going to happen is all that delicious juice in there, that pasta is going to start to absorb, okay, and start to season from the top down and mm. the bottom up. Mm -mm. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this lid on right here. Now I'm going to be patient for about two and a half minutes. Man, okay. That so looks so good. That's it, because there's gonna be more we got to do with this, because it's not just delicious seafood smoked linguine. Okay, you gotta have some crusty bread with that. Yes, we love the crusty bread, Chef Greg. All right, well I got some good crusty bread here out of that RT 700 right there, and then all we're gonna do is just do one of these. Okay, man, that smells so good. Give a little glug. <laughs> That's my glug sound right there. And then we're gonna grab something else because I'm gonna take that smoked garlic, okay, and just. Oh Lord. Yep, you seen it. Courtney Sheffield says she's allergic to scallops, but she'd push an EpiPen for this one. There you go. I'm going to grab a knob of that herb butter, and I'm just going to make some garlic herb butter right here in my hands. Oh. Okay? And then we're Lord. just going to kind of do one of these. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, y'all need to show Chef Greg some love. I need to see some hearts. I need to see some wow faces. Help us help y'all. And then it's going to go right back on the grill and get a little bit more crispy crunchy with that smoked garlic butter right there. Mm. That's mm. what I'm talking about. Chef Greg, we got a question so from top fan Tom Quinn. What's up, top fan Tom Quinn? He says he knows you can pull chicken, but can you also do pulled turkey? Shoot, yeah. Yeah, you can do that with uh, any poultry is fine. Um, you know, things smaller like quail, not so much. But if you got a, you know, a sale on some Cornish game hens, go for it. It's going to be delicious. Uh, but yeah, smoked turkey like that. We made a smoked turkey salad. Um, Ooh, not long ago. It was, was dynamite. Good. Yeah, that was dynamite. really, really good. All right, Sherps, we're, we're getting close. Just off a of smell alone, we're getting close, Chef Greg. Shoot, yeah. Oh, man. All right, but that right there is starting to look like we know what we're doing. Yeah, you, okay. Like you've done this once or twice before. You know, a couple thousand times. <laughs> but I'm going to get in here, and I'm going to give a taste so of the sugu, okay? And that's Italian for sauce. Because I had a spoon over here somewhere. Maybe I didn't bring it. Oh, I had a spoon right here. I forgot. My fancy apron had a spoon. <laughs> okay. I want to get a taste of the sugu. Okay. It's Italian for sauce. Okay. Because now is where we're going to make some adjustments if we need to. Oh, child, please. <laughs> is it good, Chef Craig? 
No, it's terrible. Yes. Nobody can eat this. Okay, this is just for Chef John and myself. I love it when he says that. But you know what I think it needs? What? It needs a little bit of a uh, little bit of mouth feel to it. Okay. So you know how I do that? I don't know. How do you get that mouthy feel, Chef Greg? I grab some of that pasta cooking liquid with that smoked salt and starch. Okay. And that's going to help sort of kind of thicken up that sauce a little bit mm. and really bring it all back together. All right, Chef Greg, let me stop you real quick so you can explain to these people. When you said you took the pasta water, you're going to use it to thicken? How, yeah. does that, how does that work? All right, so that starch had to hydrate in a liquid. So as such, some of it comes out in the liquid as well. Plus, we added that smoked salt into the water. So we seasoned the pasta from the inside out. Mm. We added a little bit of that smoked salt uh, water back into that pot. And that's really going to give us some amazing, amazing flavor wow. to our pasta. Okay? And you can see that sauce is starting to, like, coat the outside a Ooh. little bit. Ooh. Now, if you wanted to make this with red sauce, at this point, you could add a little bit of your favorite, you know, matinab, you know, whatever you like. Ooh, yes. A little puttanesca, it's up to you. It's however you want to live your rectech lifestyle. Okay, but for me, right here, let's give a, let's give a secondary taste. Wow. Yeah, yeah, go back in, Chef Greg. Make sure there it's right. Mm. I, mm. I can just see your face. Mm. Game, set, match. Everybody else that is playing right for there, seconds. We had smoked scallops, smoked salt, That's right. smoked butter. That's right. We smoked the pasta today. That's right. Well, we really didn't. We boiled the pasta. We added that smoked salt in there. And I know normally you don't put cheese with pasta. Okay. My grandmother is probably going to be very angry with me. <laughs> okay. But they do not watch these shows live. That's right. She'll get over So it. I'll be able to enjoy this before she yells at me. I want a little bit more salt. So I'm going to add just a little bit of that shaved Asiago cheese over the top. Okay. Just like that. I don't need much. Just enough to sort of give us some umami mouthfeel in there. And then, again, I've got a lot of juice here. This is fine. I'm going to go ahead and turn the matador off. And I'm going to let this rest for just a minute or two. And allow all of that to kind of just come on together. Chef Greg, while you're doing that, I want to give a quick shout out to our good friend John Starjevich. He is celebrating his 36th wedding anniversary today. Congratulations. There you go. Two. So I like to grab a big spoon or a ladle. This is actually the ladle that comes with the uh, RTG 450 Matador. Oh, you're about to go pro mode on them, huh? Yeah, man. Okay. Okay, just like that. Okay, we'll grab some of this for Chef John because I know he's a scallop and seafood guy. You know it. Anything okay. that comes out of the sea, I'm okay with. One more shrimp for Chef John. I'm going to go ahead and grab my uh, my plate. Well, this will be plate one, John, because we're having more than That's right. Than one, one serving of this. Okay. But the clams, the scallops, the shrimp, all that cooked to absolute perfection. Oh, my man, goodness. That looks man, so good. Oh, man. Guys, we are having a great time out here on the you know Rec Tech deck here in beautiful Evans, Georgia, worldwide headquarters for Rec Tech. Man, Chef Greg is doing it up on the Matador. All right, we're going to grab that linguine. Grab that delicious smoked garlic butter baguettes. We'll whack this up. And then, John, I think it's time for us to, uh, <laughs> to Someone eat just this. asked, Greg, Eric, uh, Carson, Carlson asked, yeah. where's the redneck guy? Redneck guy? Yeah, you know they're talking about. Okay. <laughs> Jody Flanagan is far from a redneck. He is your barbecue dad, your Rectech Grills expert. And as with anybody, people deserve a little bit of time off. Yeah, that's true. So he took the week off. Why? Because he crushed it this weekend. Yeah, he did. At Banjo BQ. He did. He worked hard. And, you know and he's actually going to be working here tomorrow, and he's off all week. That's true. That's dedication. That's the true. The fact that he is off all week. And he's going to be up here working. All right, John, yeah. are we going to eat this, or are you yes. just going to stand oh, over I'm there and look pretty? Over. Oh, I'm coming over. I don't think he would mind if you called him a redneck, though. His neck's a little red. No, but he's, he's a, little too, a little too bougie for a redneck. You think, you think he's bougie? Yeah. I thought he was just a fat boy from Harlem. He is, but, no, well, he's athletically toned. <laughs> All right, we got that smoked garlic uh, butter here, but I'm going to go ahead and grab some yeah. noodleage here. Yeah, me too. I'm going to get some. Cheers, uh, buddy. Cheers to you, my friend. We can't, uh, can't share the noodles, but we yeah. will share the bowl. I'm going to get some shrimp up on mine. Oh, yeah. Mm. That smoked garlic? Mm. 
Oh, man. man. Um, mm -hmm. Wow. You really outdid yourself smoky. A little sweetness from the scallops. Dude, I mean, mm. you can definitely taste the seafood in there. Yes. You can taste all of the flavors. Here's what I love about this. This dish truly embodies what the Rectech can do. Yeah. Yeah. Because it can do everything for you. And when, in fact, good Lord, Rachel Banks doesn't miss it. Because she came down here with plates. Yeah, she knows. So that they can get theirs. She knows. But unfortunately, we got to tell her. We got to give them the bad news. Yeah, give them the bad news, Chef Greg. This has already been claimed in its entirety. <laughs> because I got two bowls down there for yeah. some VIPs. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And it. Mm hmm. Sorry, Rach. Mm. She, wow. She, Chef Greg. The but it encompasses everything. Like, yeah. all the flavors of the Rectech are in here. Yes. But I still taste the shrimp, the scallops, yep. the clams, all of that stuff. Noodles are cooked perfectly. It has that great mouthfeel, like you were saying. It is so delicious. And then you grab that bread. Home run, my friend. You grab some of the juice and come in here for the dunking. Home run, right Chef like that. Mmm. Wowza, guys! Y'all need to make this y'all's next pasta dish at home. It was that easy, so easy, so delicious. Definitely would impress anybody mm -hmm. that you cook this for. A hundred percent. That right there. I could eat like seven loaves of that. But you know we can't do this all day every day. But we do do it every day for you guys. So make sure you follow us on all social media. You never know we're going live. So set your notifications. And that's for Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. It's going to be a busy week. Tomorrow, Chef John and myself are doing Rectech After Hours. That's right. It's going to be at 5 o'clock on Facebook. That's right. Make sure you join Chef John on Thursday for lunch break presented by Rectech. That's going to be on YouTube at 12 o'clock. And then uh, Chef John and myself will do something fun for Product Spotlight at 4 o'clock on Thursday. Fun Day Friday is going to be every Friday at That's 12 right. noon Eastern on Facebook. We don't miss one. Okay? We don't miss it. Good but bad. make sure you follow Chef John on Thursday nights for Late Night Munchies because you know he's got something sweet up his hand for that. Yo, and I know he's got a question because he's doing this. So I'm going to get to Chef John over there. Okay. Uh, they want to know where they can reach out and find each of us at. You, uh, me, and uh, Jody. All right. Super simple. That's going to be Chef John Pinnell. And then you've got Barbecue Dad Jody. Myself is going to be Chef Greg Muller. Or just jump on uh, last week's Facebook feed. There you go. And then you can uh, hit the, the links for each of us because our fantastic marketing team Ooh. did a fantastic job marketing us. Marketing and made sure they put those links to our pages so you guys can shoot us some messages, questions, comments. And make sure if you want this recipe and more, make sure you jump over to rectech.com slash lunch break. Put your email address in there. Sign up to receive those email recipes because I guarantee you do not want to miss this one no, because it is not. delish. Chef John, what you got, buddy? Chef Greg, if they uh, have a question there and they just need to talk to a real live person, where do they need to go? What just, do they need to do? Just pick up the phone. Give us a call, 706-922-0890. Everybody that's going to answer that phone owns a rec tech, cooks on a rec tech. They're actually working right there. Our fantastic CSRs, the ladies and gentlemen up there, the engine behind this fantastic company and That's these right. fantastic grills will absolutely answer any and all of your questions um, and then there are some days that people don't realize I jump on the phones okay I put that headset on and I yeah, answer calls do. I've seen you and sometimes it's nice when they don't realize it's me and I'm like hey I sold a grill today you know <laughs> um, but definitely reach out if you guys have any questions please feel free pick up the phone 706-922-0890 I appreciate everybody shooting us messages over the weekend those cooks looked Amazing. Yeah. I mean, the ribs, the chickens, yeah. the briskets, the yeah. all sorts of fun stuff. Oh, uh -huh, the porks. People making boiled peanuts in that matador. Woo. But you guys, that matador is in stock and available to you. That's two ninety nine, free shipping anywhere in the lower 48. It's a fantastic accoutrement to the re other grills in the Rectech lineup. You guys can put this pan in the uh, RTB380 bullseye. And um, I'm telling you, game changer. Took game it camping changer. with us. That's right. We made all sorts of good good with that. And let me try to get the comments up in here. But, John, anything else we got to – I think we had a good show. No, we had it's a great been, show. You killed it 30 been minutes. It's been 37 minutes. Yeah, I said between it. 30 and 45, yeah, we did you it. Killed it. We did you it. Uh, it. Fist, a virtual fist bump there, buddy. Yes. Boom. Ugh. All right. Guys, have a great week. Appreciate you joining us here at lunch break. Remember, God bless you. God bless the United States. We will see you. At, at the, the Rec Tech. tech. Do, do, John do. Rappy, what's up, buddy? Do, Scott, do, appreciate do. it. You definitely kicked do, those do, pork butts. Do. Booties, I saw pictures Rec of it. It's good to go. Lauren, we appreciate you loving that matador. Brad to know you got when it, buddy. Larry, what's good? Down. Mark, Dave, Brian, Rod, Keith, how are you guys doing?